Safe by Accident, Taking the Luck Out of Safety. In this video, author Dr. Judy Agnew says companies often focus on antecedents, things like policies, memos, and signs in public places they hope will improve safety, but actually have very little impact. The problem is how many antecedents we use in safety and the fact that we pay more attention to the antecedents than we do to the consequences. So what we know about human behavior is antecedents prompt behavior, but consequences are what really drives behavior, either to increase, maintain, or decrease. The problem in safety is there's been too much focus on antecedents. One of the things that people often turn to when there are incidents near misses is training. They say, ah, that'll solve the problem. If we train people or retrain people, we can get them to do the right things. Trains an antecedent, it'll start behavior, but it won't guarantee that when people go back to work, they're going to continue to work safely. Signs and slogans, another common solution that are offered for safety problems. And so if we put up a sign that says, uh, we're hearing protection in this area, what we know is going to happen with that sign is people will look at it when it first goes up. They'll put their hearing protection in when they first see it, maybe. Uh, but what happens over time is they don't even see those signs anymore. So to rely on that antecedent to make sure people wear their hearing protection is a mistake. It's gambling with safety. A key strategy for managers is to focus on effective consequences to encourage safe behavior. Consequences are critical in safety and any other part of, of business behavior. We need to have consequences in place to ensure that people do the right behaviors and continue to the, do the right behaviors. Consistency is very important. The problem is if you take if you use only negative consequences in safety, it's problematic for a number of reasons. Negative consequences generate fear. And what happens in safety, if, if people are fearful that something bad's going to happen to them, then they'll start to cover things up. They won't report near misses. They, in some cases, won't report accidents. And they certainly aren't going to talk about at-risk behaviors that they're engaging in. And that's problematic. If we don't know what's going on, if we don't know what the at-risk con conditions and the at-risk behaviors are, then how can we ever go about fixing them? So negative consequences tend to drive all that underground and, and leave often leave senior leaders thinking that everything's okay when in fact they're not. Safe by accident, taking the luck out of safety. For more from Dr. Judy Agnew and Aubrey Daniels and to purchase the book Safe by Accident, visit the website safebyaccident.com.